I'm Dave and I'm the CTO of NIM. Chief Technical Officer is responsible for all of our software delivery and basically making stuff work. I could talk as a technical person about, oh, you have TCP IP and then your packets go through these wires and all of that kind of stuff. That's one way to talk about what the goal of the MixNet is. But if we do it maybe by analogy in a slightly different way, assume that you're in a city which has huge amounts of uh, surveillance cameras everywhere. Both when you go somewhere, who you talk to, the places that you visit, how long you stay there, all of those kinds of things. The cameras have all of that. And whoever runs the cameras can, all, of course, play that information back and find out lots of stuff about you. So the goal of a MixNet, figuratively speaking, the street is, the, is basically that's you on the internet. That's your information flowing through the internet. The cameras are whoever has some or all of the, the city or of the internet figuratively under surveillance. You want to walk down the street and your goal is to walk down the street and not have the, the, the cameras be able to tell where did, where did you go, who did you talk to, what buildings did you go inside, how long were you in there, all of those, those kinds of pieces of information because you want to have privacy. The first thing that it's worth saying is other people are also using the streets and you can try to blend in with them. So you can try to, I don't know, be in a big crowd. That, that actually helps a lot because it can be hard to pick somebody out of a crowd. And if there's lots of people in, in the street, actually you kind of can disappear from the cameras sometimes or they obscure, they're, whatever they're doing kind of obscures what you're doing, right? Uh, we have a saying, privacy loves company. The MixNet then does something additional to that. So the next thing it does is think of lots of people on the street, but then think, cool, they're all wearing identical uniforms. At that point, when you walk into that crowd and you have this armor on, suddenly it actually becomes quite difficult for a camera to, to, to track you know, who you are, where you're going, because you walk onto the street, you look just like everybody else. Now, somebody who was really watching could still track you through the street. So we do one additional thing, which is we have places that we're pretty sure that the surveillance apparatus can't look into. So we have little buildings and you can walk into a building with everybody else. Other people walk in, you wait for a little while, and then you all walk out at random orders. Actually, it's very, very difficult to then tell where did this person go? Who did they talk to? Uh, how long did they stay in a certain place? Because the people are indistinguishable from each other and it's impossible to track where they're going and what they're doing. That's the core of the technology. This is the mix net we're, we're talking about. So this, this thing that mixes up your traffic with other people's traffic so that you can't be watched on the internet. The kinds of things we can do with that right now include instant messaging, cryptocurrency transactions, and we're working on optimizing the mix net so it can be used for things like web browsing and other you know, lower latency applications. We have a product called NIM Connect, which allows you to, um, you can start up NIM Connect on your computer, you can connect other, lots of other applications to it, and you can hide your traffic among other users of the MixNet traffic.